What's up guys, it's Brendan from modern to me and today we are starting our second Java tutorial. Our last tutorial we set up the Java compiler and that's great and all, but we actually need a place to type our code. You can use a regular text editor and try to compile your program manually through the command prompt like we were uh, kind of starting to do last tutorial actually, but that's really not efficient for all your uh, projects that you could be working on. There's a lot better way to do this. And one of these methods is Eclipse. Eclipse is an IDE, you can see that right here, and that's an integrated development environment. And basically what that is, is it's basically just a glorified text editor that has a lot of functionality for you to essentially just build your program. So we're just gonna get right to it and download it. So go to eclipse.org and then click on this download button right here. And from here, you're uh, just gonna wanna download Eclipse standard and you're gonna need to download the uh, correct one for your system. They also have uh, different, different operating systems here. I'm on Windows, and I'm a 64-bit system. In case you don't know what system you are, just uh, so go down to your start bar, and from here, click the, the start button, and right-click computer, and hit properties. And you'll be able to see right here the type of system you have. So you can see I'm a 64-bit operating system. So that's what I'm gonna need to use. So I'm gonna go and download this 64-bit and just click the, uh, the download and it's going to uh, download the file and once it's downloaded you can donate if you want to if you're a good person but I'm really not a good person so we're gonna skip this step and navigate to your downloads and once you're in your downloads, let me track that down, you're going to want to find the uh, Eclipse, the Eclipse uh, zip archive. And this is basically a compressed file if you didn't know that. So right click and find something that says extract files. Uh, I'm just going to extract to a folder and this might take a while, hang on. All right, now that this is done, you will have your folder, if you extracted it to a folder, and you'll have your Eclipse folder in there. And this is the application that we want. So you might wanna right click and uh, create a shortcut. I already have Eclipse downloaded actually, I didn't really need to re-download it, but now that that is all set up, we can get coding. All right, so I have opened Eclipse, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a project set up. So just go to File, New, Project, and just uh, click on a Java project, and hit Next, and name your uh, project whatever you'd like, really. I'm just gonna name it Tutorial because, wow, that's what I'm doing for you guys. Just kidding, I'm doing it for the children. Okay, now hit Finish and just uh hey yeah you know just go with it and there you go now you've got your basic project set up so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to get things rolling and we're just going to create your first source file so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on this sre folder or src excuse me and that basically stands for source and then hit new new class what you're mostly going to be uh, creating in Java are classes. This is all the different files you'll be creating. They're called they're called classes. Uh, we'll get to that later. And just name it first class for your first class. And make sure you need you need to click this public static void main string args all that mumbo jumbo. This is where your program is going to grow from. This main method. This is why it's called main, because this is the main method, and this is where your program starts. Everything is going to start from main. So your program will only have one main, and so we're going to create that main now. A program can't exist without this main this main thing I keep, I keep talking about. So there you go. Wow, that's code, isn't it? Yeah, that's code. So you're all ready to go, aren't you? Yeah, so next tutorial I'll be teaching you more about what all this means and we'll be adding some more code and actually creating our first program. So for now, I'll see you later.